Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 20th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 3, Ezekiel chapter 16 and Luke chapter 12. And our thought is, For where your treasure is. They did not have banks in those days. We read today in Luke chapter 12 verses 16 to 20 of a man who built a house of many barns to store all my grain and my goods so he could relax, eat, drink and be merry. This is the spirit among many in today's world. The emphasis is on material well-being. Of course, it is not necessary to build bigger barns or have barns at all. But what security do banks offer? Figures in computers, plenty of paper money. But as the Creator brings more and more of his promised time of trouble, a time, to quote our Lord in Mark chapter 13 verse 19, when there will be such tribulation as has not been from the beginning of the creation that God created until now, and never will be again. It will almost certainly be useless to have any money in the bank, or any money at all. The only thing of value for a true believer uh, to have will be an overflowing abundance of faith. Jesus calls the man in his parable who built bigger barns a fool, adding, So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. His next words to his disciples are, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on, for life is more than food, more than clothing. Verse 24 Human minds today are totally concerned about such things. But we take to heart in what Jesus goes on to say. For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Verses 30 and 31. His next words are, Fear not, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Those who belong to his little flock spend their time developing more and more treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys, we read in verse 33. Finally, note an even more vital point Jesus makes. For where your treasure is, there your, will your heart be also. He adds this instruction, Stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning. Verses 32 and 35. Are you dressed for action? Is your faith shining bright? Let us all be conscious with full honesty of heart where our treasure is. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.